Here in Jackside Story Time, Daniel Crouch is going to tell us a story. And I'm going to be the actor in the background. Alrighty, here you go. One step, two step, three step, hand it over. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. Um, okay. This is a story I like to call the Purple Rose. Alright, so there was a boy who moved to a town. And at this town, he's a very outgoing boy. And he talked to people a lot, and he got to know the people at the school over the course of the week very well. But there's this one girl in particular that he really grew fond of. And so, <laughs> so um, uh, first period of the class, he decided to write this girl a note. And the note was a poem. And the few last lines was that, You are my light in the desert. You are, you are my light in the, you are my light in the darkness. You are my oasis in the desert. You are my purple rose. And began to pass the note. And a kid would grab the note, pass the next kid, the kid, the next kid would grab pass it, so on and so on. And, but eventually, the teacher turned around from writing on the chalkboard and looked and saw the note. He immediately grabbed it and began to read. Doink. And, <laughs> of course, all the kids were like, ooh, bad stuff. Screw it. And the teacher is like, at, well, at least it's not one of those check yes, check no box notes. Those are horrible. It's good. It's a good poem. And he gets to the last line. It says, "You are my purple rose." And he's like, oh, "Just like that. Just like that." He is infuriated. He's pissed. And everyone's like, "What's wrong with the teacher? What's on that note?" Uh, Charlie, you're messed up. What'd you write on that note? And he's like, "I didn't do nothing, man." And the teacher calls Charlie up to the front of the classroom. It's the boy. It's the name Charlie. I forgot to say that. So Charlie's up there, and he's like. What on earth would possess you to write this on a note? Like, what? It's just a purple rose. Seriously, teacher, what's your problem? And the teacher's like, well, you're going to have to go to the principal. I was like, what's wrong with purple rose? Just go. And the principal sends Charlie off to the principal's office. And so Charlie goes down to the principal, hands him the note, tells him the problem. Charlie is um, sitting there, and the principal's reading the note. like, oh, this is good. Here am I. Uh, light in the darkness, always in the desert, you're on my purple rose. Purple rose! <laughs> Can't believe you would put that in a note. This is, wow. Uh, Charlie, you're going to have to call your parents and uh, have them pick you up. And Charlie's like, what on earth is wrong with purple rose? Can you at least tell me? Like, no, you're calling your parents right now. I'm out of school. If you can't call your parents the next time, I think you're just going to have to walk over. Like, oh, okay. So he picked up the phone, starts talking to his parents, and um, his mom is the one who picks up the phone and he explains the situation and immediately when she hears the phrase purple rose, she hangs up the phone. And he's like, ugh. So he starts walking. He leaves the school bus and starts walking down the street. And as he's walking, a car pulls up. And it's a uh, semi, to be more uh, specific. And the man uh, opens up the door and Asked Charlie, hey, what are you doing out of school? Uh, you need a ride or something? And uh, Charlie's like, well, uh, yeah, that'd be great. So he gets in the car and the man starts driving. And the man eventually leaves over to and says, so uh, why are you out of school? And the kid's like, well, I got suspended for writing a no. And apparently there's something wrong with the phrase for broke. <laughs> okay, the guy car. just, get <laughs> out. just like that. Just the like man that. says, get out of the car. He's in the middle of the highway and Charlie's like, what, uh, they're speeding cars right next to us. If I get out of the car, I might die. Okay, it's no. like, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Uh, you're gonna have to get out. <laughs> so, Charlie gets out of the car, dodges out of the cars, and gets out of the side of the highway and he starts walking. And about five minutes later, Charlie's still walking, and the semi pulls up next to him again. Like, oh, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. And the guy's like, no, I'm not gonna hurt you. But, um, I, can't. I could tell that, <laughs> I could tell that you didn't know what purple rose means. And the kid's like, well, yeah, that's kind of obvious. Um, can you tell me? And so the guy is like, well, I can't tell you. That's stupid. But there is someone who can tell you. We call her the little lady of the town. And like, what kind of name is that? And the man's like, shut up and listen. So go down the street, there'll be an intersection. Intersection. You'll turn to your... Yeah, you turn to the left, walk down the street, and once you get down the ways, you'll look across the street, and there'll be an old lady on a porch, probably gardening, or 
making lemonade. Something old ladyish. And so Charlie's like, okay, thanks. So the guy shuts his door and drives off. Charlie starts walking and he eventually gets to the next intersection. Like, right? all right, goes over the direction this one. Turn left down the street, come street, old lady, lady stuff. All right, I got this. So he turns left, starts so walking down the street. And the street's name is Park Road Street. He's like, well, what the fuck is this? Why is that on the street? Shouldn't someone burn down the street? I would hate Park Road in this town. And then uh, somebody drives by and was like, shut up, kid. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, okay. All right, so he keeps on walking. And eventually he gets to um, this point where he looks across the street. There's an old lady on a purple house. And she's on the porch uh, guarding some plants, uh, watering them. Oh, not guarding them. Yeah. And so the kid starts to kid starts to uh, cross the street. You want finally? He's like finally, yeah. Finally, there's the old lady. I can finally ask her what purple rose means and uh, get out of this misery. Oh. And so he just starts running across the street. And as he's running, a car hits him. That's great. Great. That's a great story. Uh, let me tell you, uh, uh, this is this is the teacher. Mm -hmm. I like that. Boom. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the teacher. This is the principal. <laughs> this is the truck driver. This is the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell the difference. All the way to the head. Okay. All right. That's right. It is. All right. Story time.